everyone. Today is Wednesday, July 29th, 2009, and we are meeting back here to assemble the pieces of this model that we've been making um, the beginning of the week. On Monday, we had a video uh, that showed how to make a um, the piece that uh, we're making three of in order to put together this tricorn. So I left you on Monday with the instructions and told you to go ahead and make three of the same exact thing and meet me back here. So here we are. We're going to put them together, see if we can come up with um, the actual model today. All right, so since uh, this is a three-piece or three-part model, I went ahead and went all uh, um, primary colors here and did... Uh, red, yellow, and blue when I made mine. And I want to show you it, I'm kind of going backwards here, I want to show it to you all put together so you can see what the what the concept is here. Okay, so I'm gonna take it apart, I'm gonna do it slowly so you can see what has happened. All three pieces have um, are interlocked at the at the point of these side pieces. And obviously you want it to go the one to go outside of the other, outside of the other, all the way around. So it's a little helpful actually to have three different colors because you know you've got it right if you can still see all three colors. If you find that you're putting it together and um, you've got all like one color on, on two sides and then another one sticking out, you're not interweaving them the way they need to be. So I'm going to take the blue piece all the way out now, like that, and you'll see the yellow and the red are, one is slipped right over top of the other. The same two pieces are slipped one inside of the other. And that's exactly what I did here. Only in one case, I've got the blue going over the top of the red, and in the, uh, in the bottom here, the blue is going inside the yellow, and the yellow is going over top. And, and you kind of have to squeeze them all together to get it to work um, because um, I just undid it. Uh, you've got to squeeze it all together to get it to work uh, because they, they're, uh, they get crunched in. Oh, this is like that ex executive escape one where it's really hard to uh, demonstrate it. But there it is, it's all stuck together. <laughs> Clear as mud, right? Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I don't know how to be able to, to show you without my hands being all over it. So the blue is over top of the red, which is over top of the yellow, which is over top of the blue. And then you just squish it all together. <laughs> there you go. Oh goodness. I 
don't know if that helped you at all or not. This one, these kinds are really difficult to demonstrate. Um, they're just really difficult to demonstrate. Uh, but just remember, you're you're just you want to make sure that they're interlocked with each other. And you should see if you did three different colors, you should be able to see all three colors for it to be right. If I wasn't interlocking it correctly, I'd have like red and red and blue. The the yellow would be covered up by the by the red, and that would be wrong. It wouldn't it wouldn't lock together that way. So you need to make sure that you've interlocked it all. So the bottom is pointed from the side. It looks like this, almost kind of like a a little bit of a of a stone in a ring, and then the top has the indentation. All right. So that's it. That's it for today. Um, I don't know what my model is tomorrow. Let me look. Uh, tomorrow we're doing another kind of a weird letter fold. Not very, not going to be very uh, complicated at all. So I'll show you that one when it comes time. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye.